A couple quick updates as far as my Discord channel as well as a RimWorld series that is coming and generally just the status of my Let's Plays. First off, my Let's Plays. I've got my dedicated YouTube days, Monday, Tuesday. I don't stream on these days. These are focused specifically for YouTube stuff, but I've still got a lot of stuff going on. As you may have noticed, the Terror from the Deep series has slowed down significantly. My general YouTube uploads have slowed down significantly. I was working on getting a backlog of video recorded and edited and good to go. Typically, I don't like doing bulk recording because I like receiving feedback through comments and then applying that feedback to the videos. But I've just got so much going on right now, there's really no other way to do it. So I've got Seven Days to Die currently being my main focus because I think that's probably the series that'll end first. And we're going to see if we can pound out Seven Days to Die. And then from there, we switch over to Terror from the Deep. And then when we finish up Terror from the Deep, I want to then head to Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 because those were the uh, very, very, very close losers of the Patreon poll that I had done that actually kicked off Seven Days to Die initially. Seven Days to Die won, but literally just by a vote. Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 were very, very close. So I'm just going to go ahead and also do Fallout 1 and 2, but I'm going to try to keep my YouTube channel just like two series at once because that's significantly easier to handle. So RimWorld will hopefully continue. It's also been a little bit slowed down, RimWorld, but I will hopefully continue to upload that at a decent pace. And that's not to say that there aren't going to be any uploads of Terror from the Deep until Seven Days to Die is finished. There will still be uploads. It will just be quite sporadic as I uh, as I sip and find time to record a little bit of or so, you know. The second thing I want to talk about is my Discord channel. I am opening it up to the public. There are still the Patreon and Twitch specific channels there. So those of you who are a supporter on Patreon or a Twitch subscriber and have your Discord linked to said Patreon or Twitch, respectively, you will be still pulled in. You have access to those channels still. I have taken nothing away. I've only added on. So for those of you who are used to the way that the Discord is before it going public, you can just mute the public channels and everything is hunky-dory as is. The public channels, though, um, they are a thing. It's cactus. There is a general chat for just general whatever banter. Just keep it civil, basically. Um, nothing too wild. There's a video spoilers channel as well, so people can go into there to discuss recently uploaded or recently streamed games. There's no hard, fast rule on when something is considered a spoiler and when it isn't. I just kind of figure, like, if the video was uploaded within the past couple days, probably just bring it into the spoilers chat. If it's a stream that happened recently, just throw it into the spoilers chat. If it's a video from like a month ago, that's fine. Just discuss it in general chat. That's okay. It's whatever. And there's also just a kind of fun off-topic memes channel that is set not safe for work, but uh, hopefully we keep it generally free of explicit imagery. While it is not safe for work technically, um, that, that doesn't mean that it's okay to just go posting basically porn into there. That's not what we're after. There is no discussion channels for the politics or news stuff. If you want to discuss that, you'll have to do that in private messages or on different Discord channels. There are Discord channels available for that kind of stuff. I try to keep my stuff generally free of that because I am about gaming. And a lot of people look to gaming to escape the things of politics and religion and world events and all that kind of stuff. So. Bringing that into a potential escape for people is a bit of a dick move, so I just say avoid it. Just don't discuss it. It doesn't matter. It's not important. Keep it generally gaming related. General chat, if you want to talk about what you ate the past week, that's fine. It's whatever. If you just want to talk about, you know, you're looking to buy a monitor or something like that, or you walked your dog and here's a photo of the dog, that's fine. That's cool for general chat, but like just, you know, with recent events going on in the world and all that kind of stuff, it doesn't have a place in a gaming discord. Keep it out of there. Rules-wise, it's very, very basic. If you're interested in joining the Discord, I've got the link in the description below. Feel free to check it out, jump in, say hey. Um, it's chill. It's basic. It's I, I don't want to have a lot of rules. I don't want to police it. Be civil. We're all adults, mostly. The third thing I want to talk about is the RimWorld Hot Potato Challenge that I've mentioned on streams a few times. I am a part of this Season 6, which is beginning today. I should have made this video a little while ago to uh, help get people informed about it, but honestly, I just I haven't really had much time. So we're doing it now. So if you're seeing this video, the challenge is starting today, but my turn will not be until 
this coming Sunday. If you're not familiar with a hot potato, I've got a cool Google document linked down below through the tiny URL link. Check that out. It's got the rundown of the rules. It's got the rundown of the schedule and the um, just general like backstory. And there's links to the Discord and the Twitter and the YouTube playlist for it and all sorts of stuff. All the info is there. Go check it out. The link for that is the tiny URL in the description. Uh, hugely looking forward to this. It'll be a lot of fun. If you're not familiar with the hot potato in general, um, the general concept is that there is a team of streamers who are playing with the same save. Somebody will stream their game for like four to six hours or so and then pass it over to somebody else to play the next day. And it just goes through the cycle like that until whatever goal is assigned is finished up. So this year, or this year, this season, the general goal is just to launch as much royalty into space as you possibly can before the season ends. And the season is going to be ending this time, July 19th. But I generally just like the hot potato uh, concept because you're, you're going against not just the randomness of RimWorld and the RimWorld Storyteller, but also the other playstyles of your team. Because you're only streaming for four to six hours or so, you don't necessarily have the time to change the way that their kill box is or to... Uh, massively change the way that their workshop is set up and you, you don't really have time for that so you kind of have to just adapt with what you're given and it creates some really interesting things. I love the concept of it. I'm absolutely thrilled honestly to be a part of this. I think it'll be a lot of fun. It is a Twitch streaming thing though so those of you who don't like Twitch for whatever reason you won't be able to watch it live but VODs will be uploaded three days I believe after the stream so those will be made accessible. There is a playlist for that on the Hot Potato YouTube, and there will also be my VOD uploaded onto my channel. So you can still watch me going with my go, but I do encourage you to check out the other people streaming it as well, especially if you're a fan of RimWorld. Uh, there's a lot of really good players in this. There's there's a few players who are um, uh, tryhards, basically. <laughs> they're, they're, they're really about min-maxing. There's, there's people who are really good at exploiting AI. There's a lot of just really chill, casual streamers, similar to me. There's some people who are even more chill than I am. There's some people who don't know a whole lot about RimWorld. There's some people who are completely new to royalty. And there's some people who have been playing the game about as long as I have. So it's a good mix of people. I've been checking them out on Twitch when I can. They're all very friendly, very cool people. So I'm, I'm thrilled to be a part of what this is, and I'm looking forward to getting it going. It is starting today, um, so if you're quick, you can maybe maybe potentially check out 2D Kiri starting it off. 2D Kiri is also on my team, so, you know, there's the bonus points for that. What she does may or may not actually make it into my go. It depends if maybe maybe the colony wipes between now and then. I don't know. We'll see. Looking forward to it, though. Um, so that's that. Yeah, the status of Let's Play stuff. The um, general like how I'm prioritizing stuff because there's a little bit too much going on. The Discord opening up and the Rimworld Hot Potato Challenge on Twitch going on. Oh, I know. It's easy. That's it. That's all. Uh, kind of a quick update. A little bit longer than I intended, but oh well. Oh, I know. So that's just it's that's how it goes when you're a rambling maniac like I am. I see line. Or square. Or bread. Oh, I know. It's book. I see bench. Or keyboard. Or pool. Or wristwatch. Or belt. Oh, I know. It's canon. I see triangle. Oh, I know. It's marker. I see squiggle. Or cloud. Or bird. Or mouse. Or short monster. I see angel. Or camouflage. Or dragon. Or sea turtle. Sorry, I couldn't guess it.